Hey, what's up guys? Sergio here. Happy Thursday to you. Wanted to drop by and send a quick video to all of you guys. Uh, just giving an example of one scenario that I was going to, without, that I was working through this weekend with my seller. See, their townhouse is on the market currently. We were under contract, but as of this weekend, we actually canceled that contract because the buyer was unable to fulfill their loan contingency. They were unable to fulfill their ability to get a loan and qualify for it. So because of that, typically you can actually get your earnest money back when you're a buyer. However, my seller, I told him, hey, it is a very competitive market out there. We wanna make sure that if anybody's putting an offer on this property, we wanna to try to get some kind of guaranteed funds. So this particular buyer um, gave us $2,000 earnest money so they can open escrow. And I said, you know, just in case, let's make this earnest money go hard meaning that after the inspection period, if, any, if for any reason that buyer cancels, they can actually forfeit their earnest money. Lo and behold, this past weekend that actually occurred. So the buyer again was unable to fulfill their loan contingency because of um, income, they weren't able to qualify. So in other instances, they would have gotten that $2,000 back. But in this case, my seller actually was able to collect that $2,000 from the earnest, I'm sorry, from the title company because we had an additional clause, an additional term in the counter offer that we sent this buyer. And the reason why I do this for you as a seller is because time is of the essence. Not only that, in this market, time is money. Every day that we are off the market, every day that we are under contract, going through the process with the buyer, our days off the market that we could be working with another buyer, a cash buyer. Yes, there are plenty of buyers out there, but typically I sift through the best three or four offers that we get, and I recommend that we uh, respond or accept the best one possible based off of terms, based off of price, and based off of whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish after we sell your property. Whether that's move to your dream home, cashing out to go back uh, or go on a vacation, or buying an investment property. Whatever the case may be, my duty as your listing agent is to make sure that your equity first and foremost is protected, your time is not wasted, and we can keep this process as smooth as possible. So again, if you're contemplating selling your property, call me, let's meet first, so we can get a game plan in place and I can give you some other scenarios as to how I protect my clients' equity and make sure that we get the most money for their property. Talk to you guys soon. See you on the next one.